Okay, we're recording again. Why is the capping muzzled? <laughs> Great. Oh, this is this is all extra. You know, it's cool. This is DLC. Uh. Yeah, this is for the 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 Patreons. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> the the mini Patreons we have. The the feet picks too. <laughs> Hello there, and this is Bark Bark Meowcast. My name is Solace the Wolf. I'm Misha B. Barkin. And I am Pure Ruby Dragon, and I'm sorry about the delay. I had to be unmute myself. <laughs> you had to take the muzzle off, we understand. I, I did. All right, today is our first, this is our first introductory little episode. Ooh. We are going to talk about... Uh, ourselves a little bit, but what this podcast is about is uh, we're going to be checking out the furry fandom and what's kind of going on a weekly basis. So uh, after we do a little bit of chit chat in between ourselves, uh, we're going to address the highest IQ furry. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Oh my god! Oh, did you know? God, it's the Misha B. Bark. Oh Christ, what the Don't Misha B. Bark? This the sucks. Misha this is B. bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is this is our intro this is uh, how, podcast. <laughs> this is, I'm about to lose a hoe. <laughs> such a big fan. Solus, you have more followers than I do. Hold on. <laughs> it doesn't mean I can't be a fan. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like your candy corn friend. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You said so you I were gonna hear, do it. <laughs> I did. I did say I was gonna do it. I don't want to hear about this. All right. What candy corn friend are we referring to? Um. So. First of all, hi, I am Misha B. Barkin. I do YouTube, TikTok, all that jazz. Um, so doing YouTube means I have, you know, people that watch my videos. And most of the time, people who watch my videos are like-minded people, or at least people that, like, I can have a dialogue with. Um, there's someone named Candy Corn Cavine, or, like, Ava Nova or some shit. I never learned how to say his name because I don't care enough about him. But, like, he is one of the co-founders of the Furry Raiders, or at least one of the people in charge of it. No way. Yeah, yeah. He's so, around that <laughs> sphere. That's all I know. Oh yeah. my god. And he'll occasionally come in and drop comments um about my like on my videos. By the way, just just to disclose like if we disagree politically or whatever, like for the most part you're chill. It's just the fact that it's like somebody who's in charge of the furry raiders. I don't mind talking crap about him. What's what's our what's our thoughts on cussing? Let's get that out of the way. Um what? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> Um, Glad to solve that. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. audio. I'm um, sorry, listeners. We are going to be adults and curse. Of course, of course. Um, but no. So we'll try and keep it like PG-13. So. Yeah, we will oh, we'll yeah, yeah, super yeah. often. I, um, yeah. But like, apparently, he watches my videos. Um, and like him and I disagree on everything. Like hands down, I don't understand why he would like my content. But like, I just happen to be scrolling through. Um, he commented on one wait, of my wait, recent wait. So, videos. So he's like a fan of yours? Yeah. No, yeah. he hold on. Let me pull up the screenshot I took. Yeah. Yes, uh, he it, fucking, screenshot. Yeah. No, so I'm scrolling through random comments and I happen to click on his uh channel, which will tell you previous comments that that person has left. Um and so somebody said twelve days ago, Ave Nova, Misha must be living in your head rent free if you're still going through comments on this video, because it was the free for all video. And Ave Nova says, I am a fan of his content. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh... I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. The only way that it works in my mind is that he sees you as like entertainment. Like, oh, look at this yuck. You oh, know? that's fair. I mean, I I, I kind of see I, him I, in I the disagree. same way. I disagree. I've seen these people and like, uh, like that that Nitro guy who stole all the money from CCFC. Oh, like, I remember that. Yeah, like he was he was a fan of all of these people who he's openly scamming or or like the batter cake guy who like emailed oh, batter cake. Yeah, who emailed Omi like, please let me do this bad thing, even though I'm your fan and I know you won't approve. I think they just like content creators and they have trouble making that disconnect that like as individuals like Misha as a person is objectively opposed to your fundamentals, partially because yeah. they don't think they're being racist when they like are nazis so they're like yeah. oh yeah i agree with all of misha's content i bet i bet he'd really like me because but they're not seeing you as a person they're seeing you for just your just content a creator yeah yeah which is weird because like occasionally he'll comment i i thought he like just disappeared off the face of the earth for a little bit because i hadn't heard mm. from him in a while 
God, starting, I wish that were me. starting to get worried about my pal, but like so, and it was like, um, you just wanted to check in. Yeah, yeah. He commented recently, and I, I think I replied to him. I was like, "Wild that you still watch my videos, crazy man. Thanks for the view or something like that." Yeah, absolutely. And he hasn't replied, but yeah. If anybody who knows me will know about uh the free for all video I did, the one after the con. Um, that was a great one. Abe Nova was actually the person who took the picture of the Confederate suitor in the pool. Oh, or at my least, God. At the very least, oh. it was uploaded to his Twitter, um, Ava Nova's. I'm just going to call him Candy Corn, because uh, I'm not... Can't just call him Candy Corn. Right. Um, I love that you're connecting all these dots for me. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, that, That's who that is, because the they held, like, a little piece of paper. I'll send one of you the... Oh, wait. Am I editing this one? I don't know. All right, whoever's editing, I'll send you the picture of the thing. He was the one that took the picture that was, like, Misha B. Bark and thank you. Oh, on, like, yeah. a random-ass piece of paper. And then just fucking... Yeah. Alright, I sent it. And, like, it was just wild, dude. Just Whoa. waking Whoa. up waking up Saturday Whoa. and seeing that I had been mentioned at FashCon was just highlight of my career since dude, yeah, starting you've YouTube. Made it. Dude. I know! Holy shit. Yeah. No that, wonder. That is... You truly are the Misha B. Barkin. Dude, I've yeah. done it. The I am Misha a big Barkin. fan. <laughs> yeah, and just super duper quick context. Free for all is the like all right conservative furry convention that was ran by a bunch of well fascists. Furry Nazis. Um, yeah. we all had a good uh, rip into it as it was approaching its uh. Dude, I made so much date. money off of both of the free for all videos. <laughs> I did. I'm so proud of you. Uh, there was a lot of criticism that we had about the con and its uh, uh its attendees, its. I would say it's sponsorship from the furry raiders and it's it's uh staff. Yeah. And so Misha had made a couple good videos before the con had even happened. Uh, and, and we'll link those videos down below. Absolutely. Or wherever uh, this is getting uploaded. Those yeah. videos gained Misha so much notoriety that a fursuiter, which you just saw in the picture, uh if you're a YouTuber, if you're on the YouTubes. Uh, but it's a Confederate flag fursuit <laughs> holding up a piece of paper that says Misha B. Barkin, thank you. So yeah. that's how much those videos and the commentary through Twitter and all of that gained their attention for Misha. It's great. Yeah. So do we know, do do you guys know the full context for the Confederate flag fursuiter? Uh, I know uh, that he like copied someone's suit after they passed away. Yes, um, he did. Uh, yeah. I actually, I won't even say their name, but I knew them. Uh, but just for their own privacy, I won't. Because I don't want to give that even, like, the time of day. Yeah, no. But yeah, I, uh, they they remade the fursuit that, of this. This person who was an ex-EMT who died in the line of duty. Mm-hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, and about, yeah. yeah and if the, the, the i mean that shit is bad shit insane so he's been doing this for years it's yeah. not like he suddenly made a confederate flag for a suitor and he's suddenly shitty he's just always been this shitty yeah and like his recent main suit is also copied the like be surprised. the wow. like <laughs> brownish punk rock looking suit that he has i can't for the life of me think of Oof. who the original person is but like that's also copied and like He's doing it specifically to make people look bad. I'm oh, almost yeah. certain oh, of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he just... wants he wants the attention, like the negative attention oh, yeah. that comes. That's with so it. cringe, I... dude. Why, it's great. dude? It's it's either for my only guess is that you have a humili humiliation kink, or that you are such an unremarkable person, you can only get attention through negative through negative attention. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's a that's a brief introduction into the Misha B. Barkin cinematic universe. I love uh, that. <laughs> Ruby, talk about yourself. Okay, I'm the meow of Bark Bark Meow because <laughs> I have a cat persona. <laughs> see how clever, see what we did, you guys? See how clever that is? is it... ah? uh... Solus didn't even get that till just this second. <laughs> Look, this is I the part... totally got <laughs> it. This is like the you click. Know... It's like the click baity, the click baity part of the video where we're like, "Wow, that joke was worth a like and a subscribe, wasn't it?" Oh, and then we just continue like right with the over video. Here. <laughs> yeah, we're 
<laughs> now, if we're going to clip this and make this short, it's like, wink at the camera, like, and subscribe. <laughs> wink at the cat. Where's the camera? So, Solas, if you look at your computer. <laughs> oh. If you look at the, the plush that's sitting on your shelf, it's if in you, the you, eye yeah. of that plush. Oh, wait, which one? <laughs> oh, yeah. One of them. I don't know. I didn't place the camera. Look, I'm a furry. You think I have one plush? Oh, fair, okay, It's yeah. not the one that has the CSI camera in it. It's the oh, other it's one. Not it's that not one. the one that's obviously <laughs> got a camera in the eye. <laughs> yeah, don't look at that one. We are camera. We actually could afford more than the CSI, so the one that's obvious, that's theirs. Ours is more hidden. <laughs> uh, so I'm the meow. <laughs> You're the meow. Uh, You... If we're if we're doing this on YouTube, which I think we are, you would recognize me from um, that. You're Anthony famous, video. actually. I'm not though, but low I was. The, I, I was in that famous, Anthony Padilla though. video. The furries Anthony Padilla video. You are in it. I Wait, never... what? Yeah, That's you didn't know me. that. Means what? Hold on, I'm pulling. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I, I love that we we faked being excited to meet Misha, and he's just genuinely like, "Wait a minute, no, I didn't know you were I, in that." I forget that you were in it. Okay, so that's me. And then also, um, uh, I'm in... Uh, Is that you the... in the thumbnail? That's me in the thumbnail. Oh my god! Yep. I'm also in the Doodle Dudes, which I'm really proud of that one. Uh, the Doodle Dudes My Hero Academia episode. That's me. It's using my government name, though. Gross. <laughs> yeah, it's... not... Yeah, I'm, actually, I'm actually very proud of my IRL name. It's Jess, but I'm named after my mom's dog. And I'm like, Mom, if if you want furries, that's how you get furry. Oh my god, it is you. The voice like and everything. No, it's, 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 <laughs> it's like great. Googling it, like, this is... I, she, I pulled up the video. To me. <laughs> Look, we are, we are all now one... M Misha, we are one person away from have met Anthony. Oh Padilla, my god. Wait, no, I want to know. Like, how did you... Did they reach out to you? Did you reach out to them when they were asking about it? How did that get lined yeah. up? So at the time I lived in LA and a friend reached out to me being like, hey, Ruby, you've been on YouTube videos uh, and I'm really nervous because I like did this thing and they and I was like, hey, dude, I can totally do it with you. Uh, uh, do you want me to do you want me to go with you? And they're like, yeah, that would be a great help because I'm super nervous. I'm like, cool. So they did a separate interview just for me. Uh, they were super professional, super polite. Um, we all went to have drinks with some of my LA buddies afterward. Like it was great. Nice. Uh, I've never watched. I've never watched that video. If, it, if people always ask you, like, oh, how's Anthony? Really nice, super nice. I remember after it, uh, he was like, so what'd you think? Uh, are you excited for the upload? And I was like, oh, I'm never going to watch this. And he's like, what? And I was like, <laughs> I, I'm too nervous to see myself on camera, so I'm never going to watch oh this. My God. And he's like, oh, shoot, that's pr that's really fair. <laughs> I don't watch any of my old content. I was like, yeah, I just, I hope I'm not too cringe in it. And he goes, you're furries. It's going to be a little cringe. And I was like, okay, that's <laughs> I like how he's real about that. He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, look, you dress up in fucking faux fur con he's costumes. Like, yeah, he's like, right. It is a little there's cringe. A minimum amount of weird and like cringe yeah. that's going to come along with that. And I get that. That's from really cool, told, though. From, yeah. I, from what I remember, you were fine, though. You were from definitely. What I'm told, I, from what I'm told, I did fine, which is that's fine. I, yeah. I also uh, bombed the Doodle Dudes one because I didn't know how to use Fire Alpaca. And my buddies were like not feeling well that day, so they didn't. Uh, they, they just wanted to get the recording over with. And I remember being like, "Well, if I can't be good at art, I guess I'm gonna be funny." <laughs> and I, I, I did my best. Oh my god! Hey, I said the same thing, but I wouldn't be funny looking. But um... hey, hey. Uh, so that joke was worth was a funny, lot. Please, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Misha, <laughs> Misha says puppy brain, literally content brain. Content yeah, yeah. Brain. Dude, we puppy always on that grind. Con oh, Dude, you gotta be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm an influencer. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I'm, I'm an, an influencer. influencer. Uh, Let's go. Influence, influence. All right. Yeah, perfect. I'm perfect. I'm gonna step in now. My name is Solace the Wolf. Hey, welcome on, welcome on in. <laughs> I'm an influencer. <laughs> I'm kind of yeah. a big dude. <laughs> Yeah, I love how your cat has been quiet this whole time. I know, this right? She just came up. <laughs> and she's like, no, you have to pay attention to me now. She's like, I am the meow. I bark, bark, have... Bark. That, there's another meow now. Uh, I have two cats. They're my loves of my life. I love both my, my girls. Me uh, and? <laughs> uh, at, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, 
Ash is adorable. Whitney is the greatest. Uh, no, I don't even know what to say because now that you you've talked about that, I'm like, what have I done that's like actually cool? I have a cute. So yeah, uh, Misha took down some fascists, and I was on a Anthony P <laughs> P a video. Go ahead, Solace. I uh, I do not really do YouTube content anymore. I'm I've basically I can't remember the last time I've uploaded. It's been a while. Um, but I do Twitch streams, and uh, we're gonna do this podcast, which is super cool. Uh, but kind of like uh, a uniting factor is I've always kind of kept an eye on the fandom and I'm really outspoken about things. So I've just kind of garnered the following between having my fursuit and uh, just being super outspoken on furry Twitter that has just kind of amassed a, uh, a, you know, a, a, a community of, I, I guess, the positivity pack is what I call yeah, everybody. Yeah. My uh, positivity pack, because I am, I try to keep things positive. Yeah, I try. You are very good uh, about that. You're dude, good about keeping things positive, but still being real. Because there's yeah. that toxic positivity that is yeah. permeating through the fandom right now. Yup. Right, and I think I think that's actually really crucial. Is that's why I've been calling out so much crap. Is like we can't just like keep. I will. I, I'm gonna call it silently, con like silently condoning things. It's the missing it's, stare. You gotta, you gotta speak up. You gotta speak up when things aren't right. I yeah, mean, that's why and... I was bullying you to make a podcast like this for so long, and you bullied Misha into joining us, which is great. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, because... like, the last 15, the first 15 minutes of this call was us all talking about stuff, and it's like, yeah, this is exactly why we're doing this podcast, because we, right. we just all kind of, like, pay attention. These are wires, cat. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she's not biting them. She's just like rubbing on the wires, like with her face. And I'm like, no. Aw, precious. One, one of those is my mic cords too. So it's like, please don't. <laughs> Solace just cuts out. Also, I just thought about this. Whoever has, uh, whoever's doing the recording right now, uh, you it. actually have control with the whole deafen thing. <laughs> oh, I do. You could just be like, boop, no. Oh, yeah. Can't. Just, <laughs> you could literally shut just up. shut, everybody shut up. My turn. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that's actually a good segue, in my opinion. So we wanted to do this podcast because we want to talk about uh, good people in the fandom and not-so-good people and not-so-good moments and just, like, talk about it and how yeah. it affects our community. Trailing into that, yeah. let's talk about the most IQ furry. <laughs> yeah, I was actually, I thought, thought it was great that you also mentioned that you did that interview with Anthony Padilla. And, like, that's a really good way that was a great source, a great person, and a great, like, channel to do an interview for. And then the qu completely opposite it's thing completely is when, <laughs> when Fox News, a specifically Jesse Waters, is going like, to interview I know we're furries. a furry. I know we're furries, but just because a news station called Fox News wants to interview does not mean that they're on your side. <laughs> so... Right. We have I believe a problem that joke here. deserves a like and a subscribe. <laughs> like and a subscribe. Wow, that, that joke deserves furry. a like and a subscribe. There's Thank a furry you. News we're gonna need station. a we're gonna need a sound bite of Misha doing that. <laughs> <laughs> if this video hits three thousand likes, <laughs> <laughs> if you give me a stale donut, <laughs> look, I'm hungry, man. I'm starving. <laughs> no, uh, Fox News. Uh, it sounds like it would be a furry like adjacent thing right right no they've only spent the last several years spreading tons of misinformation about cat litter boxes and furries in schools and things that just don't exist and don't happen and they wanted to talk to a furry more specifically because ron desantis of florida made waves with furries because of the, the, their new anti-drag laws and stuff that directly affected uh, uh megaplex yeah and so they wanted to have, like, a little talk with furries. After all of these years of, like, slamming them, uh, they, they wanted to have a talk about how it was directly messing with us, this, these new laws. And some interesting person, I believe they're a raccoon? I'm going to say raccoon and shrug. Their name is on Twitter, v Vitae Slade? Vitae Slade? I'm going to say Ty with A-I, V-I-T-I. The V I T A. Ew, A I. Vita. Ooh, A I. Ooh. Vita, 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 I, Slade. Vitali, I'm not 100% vodka. certain how to actually. All I know is their name is Slade and Teen Titan Slade. Uh, Vitani Slade here. Vitai Slade here. Uh, you just quickly browse their, their, their Twitter profile. And again, remember, this is the person that did 
end up going on Fox News and doing a uh, a little bit with them, and uh, immediately thinks as a uh, bit Bitcoin uh, yeah. educator and you, look you, cryptocurrency. Oof. You you immediately see like why they invited this I'm type glad. of person and why he agreed to do it. So another really big thing about this account is they actually were reached out to. I assume they were reached out to by Fox News because it, they made a Twitter poll and they asked if they should do this five minute live interview with Jesse Waters addressing the bill that messed with Megaplex. And almost 70 <laughs> percent said no, because there's a lot of reasons why we don't want to do that. But we'll, we'll wait. The thing is, though, they did run a poll and said, hey, it should be turned down. It was only 102 votes. Obviously, that poll didn't make it out to, like, the masses. But that's the so thing. Maybe... So this person is a is an anti-vax. Uh, Bitcoin oh. token. Yeah, he's anti-vax, too. Uh, yeah. Put that here. <laughs> you can put that here. Uh, uh, and anti-vax, Bitcoin enthusiast, right-wing pundit. And his following, people who he, like, people who choose to follow him, 70% of those people said no. Like, it's not like this got oh, to... Oh, I guess, the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's not like this got to the wider spread of the fandom. Like, the people who are already supporting him are the people who would vote in a poll like this because it wasn't a thing yet, right? Yes. Right, right. And even those people were smart enough to be like, no, dude, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> this sucks. Don't do it. Right. <laughs> So, so there's a really big reason why we're pointing this out. I, I, I'm not going to bring up all this Bitcoin stuff, anti-vax theory even, uh, and all these kinds of things. It, uh, uh, unless something was said. Something to spur us to criticize said person. So, uh, where is that tweet? Come on, where is the, the many <laughs> factors? Mike, God, I got it. I got the tweet. Here it is. So, in response to a lot of people criticizing uh, this person going on to Fox News, he said, there were many factors that played in my decision. I have experience with two different newspapers and an NPR broadcast. So he's he's been in the media, is what he's saying. He said he's been in the furry fandom for over 15 years, so he's been around the block for a few times. Cool. Uh, there's... Uh, d d go interview the fandom, Rod. Uh, Grant, uh, the, the furry founder, Rod, you know? Right. <laughs> you know, that guy's been around quite a bit longer. But... The next point that is brought up is I am in the top 10% of the country in regards to IQ. Yeah. <laughs> At one point in time, he, he also in the tweet said that he was the combination of both book smarts and street smarts. Quoting the whole, I've been in the free fandom for a while and I've done these broadcasts before, or this has been in the media before, but also I'm this percentage IQ level or group. It's just... Anybody that knows, like, if you quote your IQ, you're, like, you're immediately, like, You've shooting lost. yourself in the foot. Nobody wants to hear you say, well, I'm in the top 5% of I, IQ. I, I am. I saw a great tweet from a, from a friend of mine that, like, explained this perfectly, and I replied this, 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 so I'm, I'm finding it real quick. Uh, so they said, I just like people bragging about their IQ. It's such a fucking clutch. People only seem to brag about it because they do have no other accomplishments or characteristics they need to prove of. It's fucking sad. And I was like, there it is! Yeah. Uh, well, and, and I think you even brought it up. Uh, IQ is kind of a more made-up thing. It's not really a good, like... Right, we have already proven that IQ is an imperfect science, and it's often used. Before we put this in our podcast, so I, I parentheses this to make sure I can back it up with actual facts, because I know I can, but I can't find them right now. But it is often used to uh, defund schools where IQ um, tests, quote unquote, aren't like uh, aren't properly utilized because these tests don't consider factors like ability. Uh, like uh, access to education, access to good parenting, like things like that. Yeah. Oh, These outside tests. factors. Yeah, that would. Yeah. So in it's that not, area. Yeah. So it's not actually an accurate test. Um. So a lot of places don't consider it even like a thing anymore. But <laughs> weird incels, for some reason, will continue to use it as a crutch because they have no other accomplishments. It's like putting Girl Scouts on your resume when you're 25. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look, that's some leadership rules, and they, they can sling some cookies, okay? <laughs> like, that's something right there. Come I've on. never had a bad Thin Mint. That's all I'm saying. I'm, 
Just saying. <laughs> the coconut <laughs> crumble ones are my favorite. Oh. Sorry. I have the Samoas. Oh. Yeah, the Samoas. Hey, that was a funny joke by Pure Ruby Dragon, so uh, like and smoke. <laughs> oh God. So speaking of like not having accomplishments, that's another thing that we kind of delve into this person, this profile, is realistically, if you look at everything on just what they have on Twitter, which that's typically you want to, it's kind of like a cover letter of your life, right? You want to throw out there like your interesting things, your accomplishments. Bitcoin educator. <laughs> and they own, they own the dealer's den. So they own the website that you go to buy like a lot of, well, they do have some like, first hand fursuit stuff but a lot of second hand selling of fursuit stuff as well yeah. and a lot of first -hand stuff like uh i i'll say that as a uh, person who makes fursuits and art and stuff and uses the dealers then regularly this sucks because this was kind of like one of the only websites we had for this thing and i i don't know about like a bunch of my other friends but a bunch of us are like well guess the dealers den is dead like right. this is gonna hurt his business a hundred percent yeah and right i until he like recounts this, but I don't think he will. I think oh, absolutely not. No, not at all. I, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna use the dealers then again. I did have a question yeah. about that because, like, <clears throat> I'm not an artist. I'm not a suit maker. But like, is there any other site you guys can migrate to or use that's like Dealers Den, or is it just Etsy? There's maybe not. But... There's not, which is yeah. why briefly I like I even took a poll <laughs> and I'm seriously looking into. I I've already got a demo being worked on by some friends of mine. I want to do another community run website and maybe I'll get that off the ground. Maybe I won't. Cause it's so it's like still a pipe dream in this moment, but no, there are no other decent alternatives. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of the rough it's part. It's kind of like, kind of like the whole thing with fur affinity being like uh, the big art, a load site. Right. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's similar to the fur affinity problem. Sucks. The, I know yeah, that there's nowhere absolutely. else. We, we are, we are trying to use ink blot, but it's so hard to get yeah. people to like move to so other social media. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Especially people who like like for affinity, their social media wasn't a thing yet. People didn't really use Twitter and Instagram yet. Then that's oh, why true, for affinity yeah. became a thing. Absolutely. DeviantArt that's why it looks like it's in 2002. Really good, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's the thing that bothers me most about for affinity. Like it just why have they never it updated? Looks, yeah, it looks, <laughs> it looks like, like shit. <laughs> It hasn't changed. Too no, really. I mean, op open up the dealer's den. Let look at this right now. Everybody, okay. open up the dealer's okay. den because look how bad okay. this looks. Oh, too. dealer's den is awful. I'll, I'll do it just to get another look at it, but it's not good. It's very basic. Oh. Hey, wait, I can. I'm gonna. I'm uh. gonna open it up on, on our little. Uh, yeah. Our screen. yeah. They're sponsoring Megaplex. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, the, really, the the floor guy is sponsoring. That's no way. That's really <laughs> ironic. <laughs> are they really? Yeah. yeah. Or oh, well, crazy. are they sponsoring it, or is that just? It, it's the banner. Ad? The banner. They took an ad, so Megaplex paid for an ad. That's yeah. So ironic, you guys. Yeah. Wait, I wonder if uh, oh, what, what were God. they? What were they? Liquid Sunshine Designs. Oh. oh my God. Are they on here? Ah, they're not. Damn. Oh, is I don't think they exist anymore, do they? No, they still exist. Oh, wow. That's a whole nother subject. Though. That, that is, is yeah. that'll be another No, podcast. so talking about, so talking about, like, people that, like, don't have, like, really any accolades. It's very much like this, this person, uh, uh, Vitae. Oh, this Manta Ray backpack. This, this Vitae <laughs> person, they... They I didn't like create thing. Dealers Den, right? No. They bought Dealers Den as a Bitcoin enthusiast. So it's really sub like suggested that either they're just like a suspiciously wealthy furry or they got like really lucky with, with cryptocurrency. Oh, God. Uh, oh, you pressed the wrong <laughs> I did. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> you hung up the call. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Right. I just but yeah, right. so basically uh, they bought Dealers Den. I don't know why. I they would love to know why. Fandom. Maybe clout. Uh, clout, and that's I think that's where this all comes down to because it's like the it's like the dude everything. Who runs... Well, it's like Elon Musk. He didn't he didn't uh, create Tesla. He oh bought God. he bought Tesla, and that, that's the thing is like a lot of people are just gonna see the dealers then and the guy's profile, and unless people had come out and said it, I would have just assumed he owned it. Yeah, but uh, like he created it. Um, but no, it just comes out to be like guy had money, spent money, bought bought website, and uh. Wait, wait. So he did not create the dealer's den. He just owns it. Yeah, yeah. he just owns it. 
that that is oh my god which again like i like to other than monetary reasons if he's actually making money on it or not i don't know but uh that also points towards why the dude most likely really just disregarded the poll and everything else is clearly he just wanted to be seen he wanted to be perceived and yeah. by fox news and uh we're so so a really big thing to, to say here and we're gonna do this in just a moment both misha and ruby have not seen the actual interview yet oh, so we're gonna do right. a little bit of a, we're gonna do a little bit of a live reaction i have watched the majority of it but i will be watching along as well so we kind of can tear it apart but regardless of any reason why like there's no good reason why you would ever accept a interview on Fox News. <laughs> what a lot of people would have uh, that, that were suggesting what you should do if you did go on Fox News, because a lot of people are like, "Well, waste their time, make it not worth their time. Uh, it'll cost them money to set up this whole camera interview setup, and you're gonna burn five minutes of live airtime by like immediately cursing or doing something crazy." But that's the problem. Nothing that like nothing good comes of this, regardless of going on Fox News. You're not going to set the record straight. You're not going to change any minds because all of these people that consume Fox News are people that are already sipping the Kool Aid. They have been sitting there for years yeah. now, thinking that furries shit in litter boxes. Okay, you're not going to change their minds. Yeah. So their mind is made up, one hundred percent. Like there's yeah nothing there is good no... coming of it. You can't even make the argument, because uh, to make a parallel, there was a time that um, Bill Nye, the science guy, Bill, 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 he went and, yeah, he he debated a, like, known mega church owner. The idea was, like, I'm not going to convince the dude I'm debating. That's, like, he's already set in his ways. But if there's a chance I could convince somebody in his audience, then that's worth it to me. And right. I, I think there's a really solid argument to be made there because I remember being the kid sitting in church and like having doubts about some of the stuff they were saying, like hating gay people. Not that all churches do. This was just my personal experience. But then there's the other point. Like, let's take ContraPoints as a good example. ContraPoints went on to debate somebody, a, a, a turf, about the J.K. Rowling argument. Uh, I think she actually literally debated J.K. Rowling from an ex- uh, with an ex-Mormon mediating, and it went horribly. And she made a whole video about how some arguments are absolutely not worth having because no. the person you're the person you're arguing with is not coming in good faith. And every single person knew, even again, these right-wing people who were following this guy knew that Fox News was not coming into this argument yeah. with any amount of good faith. They yeah. just wanted to make a fool of you, and they did that swimmingly. Yeah, all of his... All of his top 10% of IQ couldn't see how, like, dumb of a decision this is. Because on top of everything you just said, whatever you say and whatever you put in, like, gets sent to Fox News. They're in control of what gets aired that night. So even if you, like... Right. this is going to be edited, yep. like... Yeah, exactly. Even if you spin it to be positive, even if you, you know, even if you go in with a bunch of points, they're not going to air that if you prove them wrong. Why would they? Like, and that's exactly what right. happened in the ContraPoints thing. Like her, the right. her interview was not like it was not like a public. Every person is seeing both sides of the debate. It was edited and edited to be very, very soft on J.K. Rowling, who's tra being transphobic. Period. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is the perfect time for you guys to see exactly why you don't go on Fox News. Oh my god! As a furry, <clears throat> because no matter how good you do. Which I don't think he did a great job. Period. So but I heard. they already have a set. They have a set narrative already, and yep. no matter what you say, because there's a they, you, you'll understand, and I'll make a comment here in a second. We may have to pause the video a few times, uh, but even things that aren't even actually directly furry related, they attribute to furry like kink stuff and shake their head at us basically. Yeah. And it, again, they had a narrative to drive, and that's what their viewers are wanting to see anyway. So there was yeah. no point. And even if you're, again, thinking about going on there and saying something outrageous and upsetting, all they're going to do is spin the narrative and be like, see, look how tolerant the furries are, or look how tolerant the left is, or uh, look how uh, we tried to have an interview, and look how quickly they decided to do this. Yeah. They're going to spin it so that we're the bad guys. Anyways, yep. this is why no matter what excuse this person decided to go on there, why they're wrong. 
They're yeah. just plain wrong. So I am going to bring up the video now. I am Whoa. not excited for this. I'm, I'm not either. Okay, I I cannot handle cringe. Like Nathan, for Dude. you, I don't watch him. And he well, loves that shit, but I can't watch I it because it's so cringe. And I feel <laughs> like I'm just... <laughs> well, I, I, I do. So I again, I didn't watch it in full, but I did watch bits of it. And it wasn't as cringe as you I originally think it. Like, I, I didn't cringe immediately, which was a good start. But, but the problem is, is and I have a problem just seeing Jesse Waters' face. I've I've never like, even heard of Jesse Waters. Like before this, this guy, oh my god, he's <laughs> he's not Tucker Carlson he's bad. He's diet like, Tucker just, Carlson. He's yeah. literally diet Tucker Carlson. The he's LaCroix like of a Tucker step Carlson. down. Oh, wait, wait, Absolutely before, flavored with Carlson. <laughs> hang on, but before we press play, I'm going to get another drink. And uh, uh, I, every time I cringe, no. I'm going to take a drink. Oh my All god! Right. All right, this stays in the video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wait, let me, let me grab a drink, wait. I'm gonna go grab a beer, too. Fuck it. All right, I'll grab a beer as well. Fuck. Yo, we should hit, we should hit candy corn up. Oh, we really shouldn't. <laughs> like, I grabbed two beers just in case. Just Look, saying. man, cool idea, but what if we didn't? But what if we did? What if we didn't? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. You swayed my opinion. Zam. You swayed my opinion. All right. All right. All right. Anyway, are I'm you ready. ready for this? Yeah. Are we ready for this? Okay, I got my no, drink. No, but yes. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, no, but yes. All right. All right. All right. Uh, drink responsibly is all I'm going to say out loud. Um, that's water. Um, <laughs> no. Ever since Ron DeSantis signed Florida's Protection of Children Act, the left's been treating him like Mussolini. That a fringe drink. <laughs> the the left has been treating him like Mussolini. Oh my God. All right. Okay, go ahead, go. The law just prevents kids from attending adult live performances like drag brunches. Makes sense. You wouldn't take your kid to a strip club, so why would you take him to a man stripping at a brunch? It's not what drag is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, drink. Oh. But the bills led to some. They even so, fucking. They even had the. They, no, there. no. They quoted Libs of TikTok, and I, I Libs of TikTok is so cringe. Anything oh from Libs of TikTok, this, you can't take serious. Well, they've they've altered photos and yeah. videos to make them look sexual when they weren't. Yeah, and like if I remember correctly, they used like images or like videos from like Folsom Street Fair and shit like that to be like, oh, this is oh, a yeah. pride parade or like like adult only spaces, yeah. adult only queer spaces, yeah, that, and been be like, a, oh, don't bring your kids here. So okay. we, we're we're already stepping right into misinformation. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> So let's get right into it. But the bills led to some unintended consequences, and it's made a powerful group of people upset. Furries. What are furries? They're a group of people who dress up in costume and pretend to be animals. No, we don't. Well, okay, I we kind of. That that's calls... Sword. That was my friend wait. Sword Sky. Go back. I love the green cat. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get back. Let's get back. The green cat Where right there. That's Sword Sky. That's it? my friend. Oh, totally. Totally. Yes. Oh no! Hi, Soren. Hi, Soren. All right. <laughs> Hi, Soren. Everybody loves you. Uh, no. He called I, us powerful. I yeah, like well, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Can I be cr like slight? Uh, they, they, they actually this TikTok kiddo like they actually credited it. And out of all of the things you've heard on the media about furries, that was one of the better descriptors, which is funny to me. Crazy. That is. That's really funny. But it it's it's gonna devolve. So let's just. Attic? I guess this is just good, clean fun. Different strokes for different folks and all, but there's also a sexual undercurrent at the events. Some of it gets like, you know, well, watch out for the guy with the paddle. The video he's using to showcase that this is a sexual side of the fandom, that is not at a furry con. No, that's that at, the... at the MF. That's at a separate restaurant. Yeah. That outside well, of so MFL. We're, we're, it does we're not even exist. Yeah, well, so the, we're, we're about to get this hold for one second on that thought about the Hoffman Grow House. They always try to connect, you know, LGBT and sexuality to kids. So, of course, as soon as right. he brings it up, they show a video of a fursuiter high fiving a kid. Because, right, for them, well, that's going to be a visual connection. Well, right. The whole point being like the, the whole drag connection, right? Is, yeah. Oh, this drag person should be in is this is this is sexual. It's not just somebody presenting themselves. This is sexual, and they're around children. That should be yep. banned. That should be a problem. Yeah. Uh, typical drag isn't a problem. Like, no. obviously, again, as said, if you took them to a strip club that's doing drag, yeah, you shouldn't bring children yeah. to a strip club. It's Nobody's like, it's arguing like a bathroom that. Argument, like, oh, do you, do you want somebody exactly. looking at you in the bathroom? 
Yeah, I I don't think I think everyone would Wait, be upset. Ab- no, yes, no. I think everyone <laughs> would be upset about that. I think... Trans women and trans men alike. Nobody wants to be objectified in the bathroom. Right, right, yeah. and nobody wants to go through like like go through life altering procedure and or just getting on hormones just so they can be pervs in the bathroom you know what they do they just they be they they're just pervs in the bathroom pervs. yeah and that's like, what they do so yeah uh, but yeah uh anyway sorry hold on for just a second on the what what's coming up next because that is again this is all about misinformation this is exactly why so he says there's a sexual undertone i would say there's a sexual undertone to every fandom uh, Comic Con, you don't think the, you don't think the Comic Con oh, people dude. aren't fucking in their parties in the room parties? Come Holy on. shit! A Come role on, is, role play is such a classic. Like, uh, thing. so so he makes a direct reference to furries being like a Comic Con, but we're the Philly fanatic. Well, the same thing is Comic Con people fuck too. Why? Because they're adults. So moving on, let's just hold on. Uh, they address it with the furry. There's a question asked. And then we can go into why that's completely inappropriate to even include that part of it uh, in this segment. I want to get so high this All right. Look at that. Doing the spanking is not even a furry. No. Yeah. And then the, the banner, though, the banner is like furries dress up for sexual fun. <laughs> oh, it's great. We now turn it over to a real life furry, David Kanaska. Block. Drink. Right, drink. Yeah. Ruby, what do we think this guy's gonna why, sound like? Why did you why did you choose to do this in a fursuit in the first place? They asked him to. Uh they, they probably asked. It was probably well, yeah, and, and again, you agreed because you you knew no. this was bad. Oh, this guy this guy again, he rec- he agreed because he wanted his face all over. He wanted this fursuit as his <laughs> real human name, by the way, uh thrown out there. Yeah. So uh that that's it um it's great here we go give it a second all right david how old are you uh, i'm 32 and what are you supposed to be dressed up as here well currently i'm a raccoon and why are you dressed up as a raccoon well isn't it fun for you you tell me oh for me absolutely i'm hoping it's fun for everyone around me uh, the joy of bringing smiles to everyone's face is really the only reason that I like to do this. Uh, getting getting smiles and, and, and bringing people happiness in all sorts of ways. Uh, the furries, I know specifically, uh, are great at art and dance uh, and, and, and theatrical performance. And it all, it all brings uh, with it. Well, I mean, you're also great at spankings. Did you see the video we just played? Okay. We can can, can, can talk about that. Uh, So far, so good, in my opinion. Like, not awful responses, but I definitely think he didn't, he he should have been more rehearsed for this. Oh, yeah. He should have been a little bit more rehearsed. Oh, yeah. Uh, Because uh, it's all broken up. And unfortunately, I would say if you're going to do something like this, you have to be confident in everything you say. Like, you just have to. Yeah. And uh, by saying they bring uh, like happiness in all sorts of ways, that can be twisted, yeah. especially when you're on a, a segment about furries being sexual. Unfortunately, I, I'm going to take bad faith here, and I'm going to assume Fox News is going to twist that. Uh, but this is why I wanted you to wait for. What's going on with the spankings I at did, the furry conventions? Well, there's a there's a popular restaurant called the Habra House, uh, and this is a, a, a restaurant that is pretty close to one of the uh, uh, conventions that we. We uh, we set up every year, and the, at the Haber House, it's uh it's customary in Germanic tradition. I'm gonna have to stop you at the word Germanic. <laughs> Germanic. Germanic. Yup. Oh Germanic. my god. How is your is... Germanic heritage going? Uh, this is national television. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just... This is Fox News. Yes. You have you've also not yet said that this is not a part of the convention. <clears throat> yeah. This is a separate. He may... well, Maybe he, he did. Be he did. He did. No, he said this is a restaurant close to one of our our conventions. That is very different than actually that is not at one of our furry events. That is a separate event. Okay, it would have been nice for that clarification. I do agree. But But, look at the shit eating grin on Jesse's face. I know, I was just thinking that. That's that's the point. Uh, The point is, is he is 100% 
He's getting exactly what going to twist intended. this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. He uh, wants well... this to seem like. And, and by the way, we're we're splitting the hairs here. I mean, they they are it's misinformation. They grab the clip of a Fergie getting spanked at a restaurant that does this. That's their thing. Yeah. Right. And we're, that's what I wanted to get into in a second. But uh, I mean, splitting hairs. I mean, do, do you, we sell paddles at the dealer's den? Of course, they happen. Oh my god, yeah. Well, right, I, I, think no. he, I, I think ignoring the sexual aspect is wearing a rope seatbelt. And this is this is something I'll get into after we finish watching this. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I guess just continue. But the shit-eating yeah. grin, drink twice. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> God. This is why I don't like Jesse Waters. It's purely that. You know he's the villain in a Home Alone movie. <laughs> uh, for that wonderful joke, you can uh, like, like and subscribe. And subscribe. All right, all right. Let's go on. Get ready. It's it's great because Jesse's got his gotcha. He's ready. Yeah. Uh, I guess slap the asses of all of the patrons. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I didn't know the Germans were the into that kind of kink, but there's a lot I don't know. So why do you want kids around people dressed up as squirrels getting spanked? It's yeah. a restaurant. Uh, yeah. Um, that they do that at. Yeah. I don't actually know if you can have a family. I was about uh, to ask you. Can you bring kids into it? You I'm can, not sure. You can. Uh, Hopper House is a family restaurant because. Oh. The, then that's on the just... restaurant. So is that, you know, problematic? I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, who's ever editing, bring up the picture of the little kids at Hooters. Like. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Huh. That's kind of, yeah. That's, yeah, that, that, absolutely. That, but they don't care about that, but they do. No. Because, because sometimes, like, I actually do care about the Hooters one, but no, Hopper House, you don't have to get. Uh, first of all, getting paddled does not have to be a sexual thing. It can Absolutely. just be a f it can just be a funny thing. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, it's a, it's definitely a gag. I would not go in there to get paddled for sexual fun. It would literally be for the like the haha -ha moment of it. Remind yeah. me to find the video of me getting paddled because I was at this restaurant once. Oh my god, that's perfect. We we gotta do that then. Yeah, <laughs> let's just let's show your degeneracy yeah. and how dare you around let's, children let's end the video end the end the podcast with thanks for watching and then just the three the seconds video like, oh my god that'll, that'll be great battle. it's in my cat fursuit too oh, oh my god <laughs> just just dub over with a meow <laughs> <laughs> i think i squeal in it <laughs> oh oh goodness all right all right so yeah he's he's oh there's his gotcha how, why would you want to dress up as squirrels around children to get spanked? We don't. Yeah, we, we <laughs> you, don't. Saw, you saw a video of a restaurant off, off of a convention that they do this regularly at. To, to adults. Ooh. To consenting Ooh, adults. Adults that ask for it, yeah. Actually. That's also not a restaurant that's open anymore. Uh, well, uh, th no, not in Chicago, but they're yeah, around. The, well, yeah, the, the, I guess I would say this video uh, where this took place, this restaurant is not open anymore. Uh, because I think... Quick side note, uh, I think the Las Vegas one has a Hofbrau house right next to it. Exciting. So, yeah, all right, let's go, let's go. Uh, me, personally, I don't. I, I think that it's uh, it, it's a, definitely an adult-only environment for that. Uh, the furry conventions themselves don't have anything to do with that, though. The furry conventions themselves are really about community and, and bringing people together. You know, a lot of us, uh, we're not so socially... Uh, uh, it's a little bit tough. Why did you say that? Ah. Oh, he, oh, he had it. He uh, actually had it. He had it. He had it, and then he immediately goes, Who let a lot of us furries are socially God. tough. Oh. Dude, like, here's the... always how that goes. Who Dude, let I've been bro in so cook? Many awkward... I've, been, yeah. oh, I've always been in so many awkward elevator where, like, you're with a normie, and you're going up the elevator, and they politely are like, so what's this all about? And some buddy comes in and is like it's not a sex thing and i'm like you blew it you that's like the number one thing if anybody ever asks you what this is about is don't you don't i think one of the best advices i was ever given was you don't mention the negatives don't bring up the negatives they're there but this is your like 30 seconds to educate this person you yeah. don't need to bring that up Bring up the positives of what is good about the fandom and, like, yeah. maybe what it means to you. If you say, uh, like, oh, it's a group of thespians and communities, uh, but some of them are weird, that's all they heard is the but some of some them Some of them are weird, are weird. That's yeah. all they Don't hear. Don't be yeah. the one to bring up the negative aspects. Here's the being socially tough. <laughs> here's here's a, a small Ruby's tangent, because this was way back at, mm. like, maybe my very first Anthrocon, so I'm not even a full adult yet. 
and I'm fursuiting. And this is not a rumor that had been going around. I think this was just something that this lady had said. And we're, we're uh, fursuiting in downtown Pittsburgh. And she's having a blast. I'm having a blast. And she looks at me and she goes, do y'all shit in boxes? You have to understand, this was like 2009 or something. What? So this was oh, not a man. conspiracy Dude, yet. Shit. No, she straight up was watching Fox News this last no, few years. No, no. No, 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 no. She's, she's definitely, she's definitely with that, somebody that did end up going that route. Come on. No, she was not a weird conservative. She thought we were oh. great. She just thought it was funny and like, do y'all shit boxes? And I was like, I have never done that. And then they all laughed. They were taking sexy photos with us. Oh, like, shit. I was actually, <laughs> I have been sexually assaulted. By, by more normies. More, yep. more normies than I have. More Jeez. normies have a bad misconception that uh, the first like, you mean consensual to grab and touch and do things. Uh, and I, I that, that's the only time I've actually like real, really been like, assaulted at a con was from a normie yeah i got i got humped from behind oh uh by uh, a woman that was like in full on like looked like like they, they had like a full suit on like they looked professional as yeah fuck. no it's usually it's usually what? like uh yeah like yeah it was insane yeah. the worst i yeah, had was like somebody bapped misha's nose really hard at a normal party oh. i was at oh no and i was like hey don't do that uh, I quick tangent. I was at MFF, uh, like 2019 is before pandemic. Uh, was going over to the uh, the second floor over towards where check in is for the main hotel there at the Hyatt. And uh, there were some furries, there were some full suiters over there playing around. And I wanted to like pop in and, and also like kind of meet new people, but I saw that they were still kind of playing, so I didn't want to break that up with conversation. Yeah. So I kind of stopped for a second and I turned and I looked toward the red lounge or the red bar or whatever it is. And in that moment, I got like both arms grabbed my hips and then violently thrusted into my butt three to four times. <laughs> what the fuck? Like straight yeah. up humped from behind. And I turned and immediately ripped my fursuit head off. And like then I had to like check myself for a second because i was assuming it was a friend that was playing like I, that i was gonna have some some strong words with uh or because i assumed at least a friend maybe thought it would be funny right and be like hey you can't do that like yeah. without me knowing but think about out of all the possibilities i turn around and it's a sharply dressed suited woman <laughs> <laughs> it, it caught me for a second and i said what the and then I, 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 then I lit into her. I ruined her night because she went from being like, hey, like she had like this, she kind of like backed up and was like doing a little hand gesture, like party, like hands dancing and going like, hey, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And immediately her jaw dropped and she looked sad. And I was oh like, my God. Yeah, don't, uh, don't assault people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're allowed to feel bad in that situation. All right. Moving yeah. back, back oh, yeah. to the video. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. You know, it's easy to make fun of furries. So why are you upset that kids are not allowed to be at the furry convention? Well, uh, me personally, I think that it is a great way to include everyone, uh, no matter you know what their age. It's it's nothing. There's nothing inherently sexual about these conventions. Uh, you have panels that teach you how to create costumes or uh, dance or uh, you know, they're, 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 we have variety shows and all kinds of stuff, but it's not sexual. It has nothing to do with that. Okay, you say it's not sexual. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we have video that proves otherwise. Ah! No, uh, no, no. Well, you really don't. You, you okay. don't, though, sir. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because and, his... And the audience only hears that. We just yeah. talked about that. Yeah. Exactly. I preface this. It's all misinformation, no matter what you say. I give him credit for trying to say the things that are right, but that's not what's going to be. No matter what. I also, it's I also give him some credit. He clearly practiced this. Not well enough, but he definitely, yeah. like, was, he knew what, uh, uh... again, was... he just, he just did it for attention. We all knew this was going to go bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, and that's that. That's why this shouldn't have happened because yeah. it wasn't going to be helpful in any sort of way. Uh, you could tell he's nervous. Uh, but, but who that, wouldn't be? Oh, of yeah, course, right? of course. But, that, but, that, that, but that's a part of it. Right. Everyone knows that you're going to be nervous, and mm -hmm. 
the dude hosting Fox News is not. Oh, Jesse Waters is experienced. If he's he's gonna have got you moments. He's gonna come out looking peachy no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot win oh. this fight. Know yeah. when to put your sword down. This is that cutscene fight where you're just not gonna win against the boss and you're you're gonna have to come back. No, there's no coming this back. This is the cutscene fight that didn't even let you fight. You, you yeah, were right. Exactly. You were literally hit so bad. It's just your and character the getting is, his ass beat. Yeah, and the problem is, is you you opted into it. Yeah, yeah you, you you were warned. In. You were warned. You're like, I got this. And a then little you... fairy next to you is like, hey, I don't think you're ready for this. God, dude. <laughs> Please don't do it. Hey, I listen. Hey, <laughs> listen. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, all right, all right. All but right. contrary to belief, no, that footage, none of that made sense that you've proven yet. But uh, that's not what was heard, of course. But if, like, the governor said you can't have kids at the convention, why wouldn't you just say, okay, oh, it's too bad, move on? Why are you and your crew so insistent on having the kids there? So I, I don't think that there's a, a huge backlash, but, I mean, I could be wrong. There's, from, from my understanding, it is, uh, from my understanding, the convention just wants to avoid any legal gray areas that might be present in the law uh it's it's you know uh, we're un we're misunderstood as a group and uh it's very easy to uh vilify us <laughs> oh my god drink okay. yeah it's unfortunately yeah. unfortunately uh he doesn't have a response for this he's not able he to think off. it he Again, started he's, up the, this is going downhill fast. He's he's nervous, and I think he's not prepared for this. And unfortunately, Jesse Waters is going to run him with this all yeah. the way. And, and, and it is what it is. Uh, it. A lot of people. Will I say, I agree. A lot of I people say, oh, you know, go ahead, tell us. I say, I agree that I don't think there is much backlash as Jesse's trying to point out. Again, Jesse wants us to be depicted as groomers and like yeah, the p word, the big p word. I don't want to mention it. Uh, and, and, and to draw those connections, you have to go a certain way. Uh, and so you got to make it seem like we're vehemently wanting children. No, we got to have children under conventions. Well, that sounds kind of sus. Yeah, that you know? sounds like, I yeah. get that. But, and that, this is all this was ever going to go. And no matter what you say there, other than a defiant, no, that's, you're painting this wrong and like throwing it back in his face. Would ever like a, that kind of rebuttal would have worked, and even then, again, you're not going to win this battle. This is Jesse Water and Fox's news game. Yeah, you're not you're not even really allowed to play. No. Um, yeah. The the biggest thing about this is uh, for the people who are going to say, and I agree with those people that you did as well as you were going to in this interview. I think you did, Mister Vitali or whatever your name is. <laughs> uh, I I think this guy did as good as he was gonna, but again. This was never gonna go well. No, so it what never the fuck? And happened. everyone told him that. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, this, what, what this was, was never gonna be a positive experience for him or yeah. the furries who yeah. he's choosing to represent against their consent. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where there's just a little bit left. Let's go ahead and knock it out. Okay. Do you blame yourself at all for being misunderstood? I mean, you're the one dressed up as a raccoon. Oh, absolutely. I think that this is absolutely crazy and weird and fun. Uh, and, and that's the point. I think, you know, it's supposed All to right. gain attention. I like being on stage. I like performing as a character. I like bringing joy to people. Okay. That's why I If do I it. came to you one know, of your conventions, of of David, or maybe we sent Johnny to the convention, what should we dress up as? Uh, you can dress up however you want. We've had Jack Sparrows show up. We've had... Uh, all kinds of different animals. What kind of animal do you think you would be? Probably a dinosaur. Okay, David, sure, man. A dinosaur. Like no, if he knows, but like that's a thing. The the, the T Rex blow up. Uh, yeah. Suits? The T Rex I, raid. That's I like will, a thing, eh? Hey. And... I want to go like for our last little tangent. I want to say that uh, true to form, Normie has always picked the coolest personas. Is they this do. An, is, uh, is this, See, that would have been it. that would have been such a It'd cute interaction if it wasn't in we... such bad faith. And before, he should have. He should have tried to control the narrative. If anything, he should have been like, uh, like he should. He should have been asking questions. Like that's yeah. that's how. He, anyway, long story short. Yeah. Uh, like normies. <laughs> when you ask a furry, they're like, "Oh, I'm a dog." But when you ask a normie, they're hey, like, no. oh, "I think I'd be an octopus." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a llama. They pick. They pick the coolest shit. A llama would be cool. Oh, a llama. Oh, geez, that is cool. 
I also, I, I have something to ask. I don't know if this would be something to be like, I, it's like for next episode, if anybody wants to draw Jesse Waters as a dinosaur fan art. Oh my uh, god. I think, I think, uh, I think <laughs> it'd be I included in the next podcast. I like think that he, would be great. Just suddenly Jesse Waters looks on his Twitter and he's just like, when he goes, oh, he's got I, his dinosaur when he goes, persona. When he goes, I think I should, I think I'd be a dinosaur and I'll just draw him as like a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Just make sure you get the shitting shit eating grin. Oh, I, right. I have to make it insulting him, otherwise, like Yeah. Smug as can be. Alright, let's finish this off. David, a dinosaur. I like that. I gotta run. <laughs> Good luck. And uh don't sweat. Thank you too for much. having me on. Thank you very much. It's pretty pretty well. Uh we are not Yikes. continuing. Nope, 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 <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. nope. Whatever you have recommended for us, uh, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't need to hear any more about, uh, yeah. Uh, so that is the news of the week, really. That was, that sure so was. So the whole point of it being, and the, the, the whole point I wanted to get at is, like, nothing was going to come well of this. Nothing yeah. was going to be good from this. Uh, the narrative was already written before you got on there. He is a, when I say experienced interviewer, that's that's what he does for a living. And... I think that's why it's really, 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 like, important to understand. He tried to make it a selling point of why he went on. was saying, I've done broadcasts before. And I hate to say, I mean, I think he did pretty well in general. But I don't think he did well enough to say that was a justification for going on. No. Again, it's really about rebutting the reasons why, and then saying that I'm in the ten percent high IQ, like that with was... a high IQ. I'm sorry, but like I think all of this points towards you just shouldn't have done it. Yeah, I'm not sorry. He's a fucking anti-vaxer who oh, yeah. Yeah. pulled off this. I'm better than everyone else. I'm a. I'm a. I'm an influencer. I'm a business owner. So, Fuck the libtards. Like we talked about. Oh, he, oh, Dude, update, his tweets are now protected. Oh, God. This is brand oh, new. oh, absolutely. Oh, my this God. This is brand new. Dude, um, that's... May it also be noted that in his new profile that's now protected, his mm -hmm. his bio is changed. It used to have the... Uh, oh, yeah, the look at that. Endorse... Yeah, and now it says, views expressed are my own and do not re represent anyone else. I'm going to tweet. Hold on. All right. That's I'm going to I'm gonna tweet. Right, I'm going to tweet. All right, really oh, quick. He's got I, I 666 did... following. That's also pretty funny. Really he quick, would? though. Oh yeah, he does. In any and all situations, no matter what you would have said, it wasn't gonna go. It wasn't gonna go well for our community. And again, once told by many of your own followers, people that support you, to not do it, to then again try to justify it in so many ways that just <laughs> don't make sense. Uh, and quoting IQ as one of them. Uh, all in all, it's just, it's just, you put yourself in the limelight that you didn't and shouldn't have done. You shouldn't have tried to represent the community. You play it yourself. <laughs> yeah. You play it yourself. Uh, I think, actually, as you guys were, like, saying, I think the raccoon suit was used specifically because that's a throwaway suit to them. Yeah. And uh, that's not going to, like, burn their uh, main persona. So maybe that was smart on, on that point. Uh, but just don't do it. You aren't going to change their minds and it's only going to go badly. If you want to go and do a furry interview with Anthony Padilla, go for it. Yeah. Anthony That's... Padilla. Look into like who is asking you for the interview. If it's like a neutral site that genuinely just wants to know because there's been interviews about furries and articles written oh, yeah. and they, you know, they paint the furry community in a very more realistic light as opposed to just like everything you say them being like, "Ah, oh, well, this video shows that you got spanked at this restaurant, which means all of you are like that 24-7, wherever you all go. All of you get spanked all the time in the convention hallways and rooms. Uh, and... I, I think this is a yeah. really good like little little takeaway is uh, something a friend of mine said. They're like, I asked Uncle Kage why he no longer does his do not talk to the media panel. And his response was, the ones oh. who needed to hear it weren't there. Right, right. Yeah. I, 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 I do think... Uh, you wish, you wish people wouldn't have that common sense of just don't. Uh, yeah. Obviously, like, I, I, I don't know if they would have gotten another furry. Like, I do think a lot of the community is smart enough to realize don't, don't, I... don't do this with Fox News. It's going to be bad. 
but uh, somebody else would have done it. Yeah. But why I make it definitely. you? You know. Right. 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 Why? Why? <laughs> you, you still it? made it. You though. Yeah. You still yeah, did yeah. that. <laughs> uh, I, oh. I think I think that is everything we wanted to cover for this one. Yeah. I think we have plenty of stuff to edit down for well, an hour. Absolutely. Let me end this on a little bit more positive note for all of you out there who are big VR chat furries and, and, and have been enjoying the VR chat spaces since the, the pandemic times. Uh, There's a pandemic? Want... There was a pandemic. What? There was a pandemic? That'd be crazy if they yeah. that'd be crazy if they named it after a beer, like I don't know, Corona or something. <laughs> Corona. Wow. They really didn't like Anheuser <laughs> Bush before all of the. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. So we just wrapped up Ferality, which is another Ferality Silva, which is another massive success of over fifteen thousand attendees. Through many, 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 many instances and events, I uh, personally attended for one day because that's all I could uh, actually do. It was phenomenal. I thought they had one of the best rave slash dances setups yet and uh they were raising money for uh a florida charity uh lgbt lgbtq plus uh uh charity organization that is fighting tooth and nail out there against all this legislation and trying to help people uh in the lgbtq plus community uh so it was a great uh like pivot for them to help this charity uh as well as they raised a ton of money for it too so it was, it was all around good, and it was good seeing the people that were out there, and uh, it was a great time. So uh, everybody out there who had a good time with Ferrati, heck yeah. That's heck awesome. Yeah. I, I, w- I really want to get into VR. I haven't done yet, but I'm so glad. Cause, yeah. Oh, maybe that could be one of our, our other casts, uh, Ruby and we should do VR oh. for the first time. Oh my god, we could. We could, yes. do, we could do it. We could I'm hop so... in a world and just all do VR chat. Yeah. But you could just yes. do desktop mode. We just got to find a world that has a, a, a sittable thing. Wait, so this is smart. And you sit and then you could just do like a live one. This is I smart. Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to get Misha and me like proper avatars of our characters first. Yeah. Yes, you would want to get retextures done, which uh so you can I have one. Today. I have one by Vintage Coyote of, of Ruby. I don't have Oh, one. nice. We'll get you one, Misha. Hey. Oh. Pretty hey. sure a yellow dog with one floppy ear. See, that's hard. what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's not perfect, as long as yeah. it's Misha looking. Yeah. Misha presenting. Uh, I also want to play Among Us. I want to play Wolf Quest. Dun, 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 uh, vote dun, in the dun, comments dun, dun, below dun, dun, dun. which video game I make these guys play first with me. Because our plan oh, wow. is that we're going to post these podcasts. And then afterward, we want to talk to the audience about it, whether we talk about what we were discussing if that's old news by the time we post it yeah. we'll talk about something new we'll if we have nothing to talk about maybe we'll play a video game maybe somebody will bring up warrior cats and i won't be able to stop oh like... my god yeah <laughs> right so we'll so yeah see how it goes. this is the end of the episode if you liked our content do that like and subscribe a thing <laughs> Uh, we are also going to have this in other areas that podcasts are held. I don't know what yet. We're going to figure that out. And you may be listening to it instead of seeing it visually. But if you are listening to this and not, we do have a YouTube channel, which will be linked uh, to this uh, episode. As well as, like you said, when we upload these on Fridays, uh, after the upload goes live, we will be doing a live stream on that YouTube channel where we will be interacting with all of you. And like you said, it could be just us chit-chatting with you about the episode or what's going on uh and or we get into playing some games you guys could chill with us while we do that and talk to you guys so yeah this is episode one of bark bark meow we did it I'm oh my I, god i'm so proud of us i'm misha, and that's misha. hello we'll figure out the outro we didn't talk <laughs> about the outro <laughs> there, there, there's no <laughs> outro and that's a stray over there uh, yeah cat. that's me that's Ruby. Well, I, and, I thought uh, Solus was first. Solus, Misha, and then me. I know. I said Solus. I'm Solus. Oh, I said Misha. Oh, yeah. my God. And, and, <laughs> I'm, like, sleeping already. Right. <laughs> and that's... And that's this... And that's... Cut. Cut.